All right, let's look at sort 52 for words their way. Um, we're looking at the, this week the suffixes of ness, full, and less. So we'll look at some of the meanings of these words, and here we go. And this is going to be a very useful week because you'll see a lot of words that have the suffix less in full, especially, and ness. But less means without. So, for example, someone who is homeless has no home. They don't have a place to live. It's homeless as an example. But let's look at a few specifically for this one. So the word restless doesn't necessarily mean without rest. Like if you're tired, you're not restless. Restless means you can't stay still or concentrate. So if you're restless, you can't stay still or concentrate. Penniless, so a penny is a type of money. So if you're penniless, it basically means you have no money. You're penniless. And if something is worthless, then it has no value or it's useless. And there's another use of less. Useless, it means you can't use it. So worthless. And I think the rest of the words in this category you can figure out. But let's move to the opposite which is going to be full. And the suffix full means either full of or having. Um, just be careful though, the word full has two L's. The suffix full has only one L, so you drop one of those L's. So then a simple example, colorful means it's full of color, or it has lots of colors. A few others here though. If you are faithful, it means you are loyal, you are trustworthy. No matter what, you will stick by someone or some idea. Is faithful. And plentiful means there are many. So, for example, in a garden, flowers might be plentiful. And let's see, graceful and dreadful are very good words too, but I have um, some other videos that will explain those more thoroughly, so I will link to those these two words at the end. So just hold on them for a minute here. And really there's just one more suffix to define. So let's look at the suffix ness real quick. And while um, full and less, all of those words are adjectives, but ness basically turns words into nouns. And it means the state of being. So for example, ill means sick. So an illness is the state of being sick. And it is a noun, unlike the other words, which are adjectives. And you can continue with other words. Darkness is the state of being dark. Happiness is the state of being happy. Um, just turning these words, the adjectives into nouns, is what this suffix of ness does. And once you know these um, suffixes of less, full, and ness, there are literally hundreds of words that would fit these categories. So keep track of them as you're reading. If you find one of these words, think about it for a moment. And you can really expand your vocabulary just from knowing these three suffixes. And finally here, uh, I will link to the meanings of graceful and dreadful here. And I will also put some other videos if you're doing words their way, studying, and would like to learn some more. Thank you. Goodbye.